What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. You got the first wrap of Noah's copy of Startling Comics number 48 here. We're continuing the series on our conservation of this book for our new friend. And I have my photo developing tray here. I have a piece of Holytex, which is non-woven polyester. I have the first wrap. And what we're trying to accomplish today is this first wrap is dirty and has mold on it as you can see, okay? So we're gonna be doing a, a cleaning and deacidification. What I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna hold this down on the Holytex and I'm gonna start to mist it. This is just distilled water actually. And we're gonna relax these paper fibers and we're gonna try to get this to set flat on the Holytex because we're about to introduce our calcium hydroxide mixture. And I don't want to get any tide lines from that because the paper wasn't setting down flat. So as you can see, a little bit of misting with water goes a long way. And we're able to get this paper to lay right down on the Holytex. And I think that's enough. Now we can introduce our solution. Okay, so this is, as you've seen me um, use before, calcium hydroxide in water. I use tap water. Why? Because my tap water is filtered through limestone over who knows how many years, maybe millions of years. And as such, it picks up its own alkaline reserve. So it works better than distilled water for the purposes of deacidification. So again, how I make that solution, um, little trick if you don't have a scale to measure the mass of your calcium hydroxide, you just put the calcium hydroxide in water and you put enough so that it doesn't all go into solution. You shake it up and you let it settle. If there's still calcium hydroxide salt crystals on the bottom, then you know that you have a completely saturated solution. At room temperature, we know that calcium hydroxide solubility in water is 1.6 grams per liter. So you can take that as your base solution and you can dilute it to whatever um, degree you, you desire. So what I have here is one part that solution, three parts water. So that would be basically a one in four dilution. So instead of 1.6, I have 0.4 grams per liter of water. And I like to do this so that it's just enough to wet the cover, um, in this case, the leaf. So in this photo tray, because it does have these grooves that hold a fair amount of fluid, in this photo tray, that's 400 mils. So that's 400 mils at 0.4 grams per liter of calcium hydroxide. And I will rock this and keep the page wet and we'll see what kind of results we get. And based on those results, we'll decide what to do next with these interior leaves. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I've got one of those interior pages for Noah's copy of Startling Comics number 48. And this has been treated with a dilute solution. It's approximately 1% by volume of sodium borohydride. The reason why we use this is because unlike chloramine T, this actually is a reducing agent and this will actually strengthen the paper rather than weaken the paper. And it's a very light bleaching agent. So obviously this paper is much darker than the cover paper because it is newsprint. I didn't, we didn't completely remove the mold stains here, but that wasn't my goal. My goal was to stabilize this paper and not have it causing problems and not putting a nice cover over top of this paper and then having this paper 
transfer acids and mold and whatever back into the cover. So this is still damp. It will lighten up as it dries. But the reason why I'm showing it to you damp right now is because that rip that we had in the cover right here is also in these pages. So while it's still damp, I'm going to go ahead and repair that with Tengujo paper and methyl cellulose. And we're going to do it while it's damp so that the whole page can dry together and we won't get any contraction in that area if we let everything dry and then we did that paper mending it re-wets the paper and then the paper dries asymmetrically and that was what creates a crinkle so i'm going to just prep my materials off screen and we'll come right back and show you that process all right so we've got our page still damp it is on a piece of Holitex, which is non-woven polyester fabric. I've got a piece of Tengujo paper, Japanese paper here. This Japanese paper is made from the fibers of Kozu. And so, as you can see, I've torn it, not cut it with scissors. And I don't know if you can see, probably cannot see, but the tear here actually originates here right on the spine and goes over to like around this area here's where it ends so and there, there I think there's a little bit of a tear going this way as well so I'm going to cover this whole area with the Tengujo paper and we're just going to apply it with methyl cellulose this is a slightly less strong glue than the wheat paste but for these interior pages it's going to work just fine the exterior where the cover is it just gets from opening and closing the cover gets and being exposed it does get a lot more mechanical testing it gets challenged more physically and so i do like to use wheat paste on the covers but for this interior work the methyl cellulose is stable longer it's easier to mix up and to keep and so i will use methyl cellulose here all right, and that's right about where I want it. I'm just gonna pin it down with my finger outside of the area of the book. And I'm gonna tack it down in the center and then I'm gonna work from that center out toward all the edges. And that's going to give me an almost invisible repair that will be very strong and be chemically stable by brushing it this way I'm going to make sure that I'm not leaving a lot of glue residue behind methyl cellulose You'll notice as I brush it on how that Japanese paper becomes almost invisible. And this repair will be essentially invisible when we're done, if we do it correctly. By the time I'm getting to this point, I'm almost like dry brushing, I'm using the brush to wipe any excess methyl cellulose off and to spread those fibers. And again, the result here is going to be that this repair is going to be nearly invisible. So that repair is done. We're going to do this same process on at least the first two or three wraps in this book. I'm going to put another piece of Holitex over this and then I'm going to dry this between paper towels. When we're done we'll trim off the excess Tengujo paper and then we'll be ready to start reassembling this book for Noah. So until next time enjoy the hunt and take care of one another.